Hey everyone, welcome to Oak Creek Homestead. On today's video, we are doing a collaboration with Greeting Tree Farm. Greeting Tree Farm is a fellow YouTuber and homesteader from the great state of Ohio. It is a garden to table collaboration and this is the first episode. We're gonna do a handful of videos over the summer showing you what we're growing and then what we do with our harvest, um, how we prepare it to serve to our family. If you check in the description box below, you will see a link to her channel. So check her out. She um, has done a really cool... Blah, 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 blah. Make sure you check the description box below for a link to their YouTube channel. So let's come check out the garden and see what we're going to use today. The main ingredient in today's quick and easy side dish is bok choy. This is the example of the bok choy growing in our garden. Now, we grow bok choy because it is very high in many nutrients, including vitamin A, C, and K. It's also really high in fiber and folate. It is a great spring crop. We started these plants from seed in late February, early March, and they've been out in the garden since late March. There's two ways to harvest your bok choy. The first way is called cut and come again, which is what we did with these little guys. We cut the whole head off about an inch from the ground and we're leaving the rest of it, the root in here to um, continue to grow. Now, it is very hot here and pretty humid and so you can tell some of our bok choy is going to seed already. I will still use this plant just knowing that some of the stalks are going to be a lot woodier than they would be if we picked them in these smaller stages or before they went to seed. The second way to harvest is by just pulling out this whole root here. Just pull out the whole plant. Then when you're in the kitchen to clean it, you're going to cut off the bottom of the stalk, the core part. You're just going to wash up all these leaves. All right, let's get cooking. So to clean the greens, I cut the stem off, separate all the leaves, wash them one by one under some cool running water. Then I stick them in this colander with about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Um, let them sit in cold water with that vinegar in them for about five minutes. Then I'm gonna take this out, rinse the leaves really, really well, and then dry them on this towel until I'm ready to throw them in the pot. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, let's get cooking this bok choy. It's only gonna take us just a few minutes. Um, one trick when you're using stainless steel cookware is to preheat it sufficiently. Um, there's a test called the water droplet test that I learned about just recently and it is amazing. Let me show you how a water droplet test works. So, water droplet test. Um, the, with stainless steel cookware, it goes through a heating process where the pores kind of open when it's first heating, then when it's fully preheated, they close. And so the way to test if it's ready is by adding a droplet of water. If the water scatters and steams, it is not sufficiently preheated. So not quite ready yet. Let me just wipe this out real quick. Can. Now I have my heat set at medium, medium to high heat. Again, these bok choy only take a couple minutes. You don't want to burn them, so I like to cook them a little bit lower and a little bit slower. My um, cooking fat today is avocado oil, and I use about a tablespoon. I'm also going to add in some minced garlic once it gets going, a um, little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and some liquid aminos, or you could use soy, salt, soy sauce if you um, eat soy. See how those are all scattering and then they kind of ball up to one big ball? So this means our cookware is sufficiently preheated. Now because I'm going to add an oil, I want to just get this little bit of moisture out of there. The other key to um, stainless steel cooking is using a good amount of fat. This is 
avocado oil that we're using today. I use about a tablespoon. You could use coconut oil, olive oil. Um, you could use bacon fat um, or lard if you have that on hand. This is most commonly what we use, so that's why I'm throwing it in here. It's all so the oil is getting um, warmed up right now, and then I'm gonna add the garlic in and let that kind of warm up. I'm also going to turn the heat down a little bit because I don't want my garlic to burn. I just want it to kind of saute in there for a minute or two. If garlic burns, it becomes really bitter. So you just want it to kind of infuse the oil. Again, turning the heat way down. And then we are ready to add our bok choy. I just add a twist of salt a twist of pepper and about this is a half tablespoon measurement and I'm going to add about half of this so maybe a quarter of a tablespoon about a teaspoon or a little bit less of the coconut aminos just going to give it a quick stir there and as it wilts down I'll add in more of the Bok choy. You could use a bigger skillet and do this all in one bunch. This is just what I decided to use today. But basically, you just want those leaves to wilt down. See how my garlic is getting nice and golden down there? You don't want it to get, you don't want it to burn. But um, once these leaves are wilted, really, this is about finished. Now you can also put a lid on the pan and kind of steam it a little bit so the stems get a little softer if that's how you like them. We like it a little bit crunchy. And I will serve this bok choy as a side dish to dinners, um, like with any type of meat, any type of side dish that you want greens for. We'll use it, I'll serve it as a side dish to eggs. Um, sometimes I'll chop all this up and um, mix it in with my eggs. It's really good. Just these couple more leaves to throw in here put the hot stuff on top just let it cook down and there is a really simple quick easy way to use the bok choy that you grow in your garden so it's really that simple good clam too Thanks again for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy preparation of bok choy. I hope that it inspires you to grow some bok choy either this spring, maybe later this fall, or pick some up at your local grocery store the next time you're out. It's a nutritious and delicious side dish and can be paired with many different meals. Stay tuned to our channel. Remember to subscribe to our channel for future garden updates. We will be posting one this weekend and show you how all of our tomato transplants are doing, as well as some of the seeds that we've been starting to plant for our summer squashes. Thanks so much.